Sorry, I was just muted when I was doing the intro then. So we got Ares here. Green Trunks, Babylonian, on the top side of the map. Lebo at the lower side of the map. Yellow Trunks, Persian player. So I've had a number of Persia versus Babylon games today, and even a Persia versus Persia. Babylon versus Rome. So these have been the three sieves, or the two sieves, sorry, we've seen picked in basically every game so far. Um, with a handful of games without one of them. So it looks like Lebo going on the wood. Needs to get this little girl chopping. Ares. Not only hunting dogs. Doing a bit of chopping himself. He could take this. Oh, he's going to go for the dock. That's a good idea. Yeah, he can go for an early fishing boat instead. Maybe even cram in hunting dogs potentially. I think. It just slightly delays the fishing boat. You can just delay one in favour of the other, basically. Yeah, be able to get the first fishing boat. And even if he gets a couple more villagers, maybe even get hunting dogs. So just skip it and go straight for a second town centre. Lebo's going to go early town centre. So both our players looking to macro up and economically out-muscle each other to start with. I imagine Ares is probably going to go for a second TC pretty early too. Sending this villager back to the wood line, so he'll be, yeah, cancelling getting an ox cart. He's going to fish with this guy here. Might eventually send him back and then send a villager over this side for a second dock. Lebo is just barreling towards the second TC. He's not caring about the dock so far. He's only getting enough wood just to age up and then get the town centre. By the looks of things, three on the, the stone already there. It's nice actually having the game sounds working. I did cut out earlier. You like the little face on the fishing boat? I think it's hella rad. Do you think that's hella rad? I think it's hella rad. So Ares going up to, what's that, three fishing boats. Then he'll probably be looking to age up from there. He's, yeah, he's got mostly wood gatherers here. He's only got two on the food. I don't know, going up to four. Start gathering a little bit more. Now that he's got the third fishing boat on the way, on that house. So Lebo, aka Rotten, getting the Bronze Age already, he'll be looking to get a town center pretty quickly here. Uh, the fishing boats will be a little bit stronger to start with, but eventually you get to the point where Ares doesn't need to gather food with anything but them, and then adding any more of them early on is actually sort of slowing him down a bit. And he might want to get a second TC or get, you know, Production, especially uh, barracks and stables units to actually burn through the food that he's going to be accruing. Because he's going up to four fishing boats now and he knows Lebo doesn't have a dock yet. Or at least on this side of the map. So he's very safe for the time being. He's going to add a fourth boat. Lebo in the meanwhile, he's already going to go second TC. Falling behind on score because he's lacking the uh, food bank and the... Uh, uh, village account that Ares has got. Ares up to 23 to 15 and Ares is now actually going to add the ziggurat so it's, he spent some resources but being Babylonian he can keep training through this as well. This is a nice spot for Babs to be in. Persia player. Going to look at adding a dock now as well. Ares is going to probably find this out because he's going to see the villager. Is he going to look? Yeah he's going to see the villager. So he should have actually seen that go down. Might be looking at going for his own dock in response. Because he does have a bit of wood in the bank. Hasn't actually gone for any stone. Maybe he's just going to go for a fast stables here. He's got plenty of wood. No stone. Yeah, so he's going to start applying map pressure. Although Lebo is going to start fishing. Ares up to five boats now. May even need to add a second dock here. Just to quickly gather rather than having to rely on drop-off and really incurring a lot of uh, idle time, a lot of walk time from that. So Lebo's checking to make sure Ares hasn't gone for the dock up here. So 19 to 28 is the eco count at the moment. Ares is going to be some way off at town centre though. While Lebo is going to be training two bills at once. Going to also start training his own fishing boats. While Ares 
I think that Lewis is really handy upgrade to have. A lot of conservation and carry capacity, so it really cuts down these trips he's going to make. It also means he's fishing for, well, pretty much the same amount of time because the conservation cancels out the gather rate. Um, but it just means he's getting so much more out of it. I'm going to add lances here. Lebo was contemplating, I think, getting a barracks there or a range, and he's cancelled and gone with the stables. The players will be trying to be very raid intensive here, fishing on the other sides of the map to one another. Lebo's fishing eco, obviously not as strong as Ares, but double vill production, he's closed the villager gap from, it was like 8 to, now it's about 4, so 32 to 28. Ares stopping villager product or ship production over here. He's going to have to try and add another dock at the top side or add another dock or two along here to actually space these guys out. They're going to burn through these fish really quickly. i have to start travelling. Lebo adding Asabara. Ares adding lances. Ares is going to add a second stables here. Let's start getting his gardens. He's finally starting his stone gathering now, so he's going to work towards... Getting a town centre, but I can imagine he's even going to be able to keep pumping out houses and possibly even a third production building. Given that he's got 14 gatherers on the wood, already has a bit of wood in the bank. So he's got enough for his town centre, he can easily go for a barracks or a range to help protect these lances. And really start pushing into Libo here. Libo in the meanwhile, just adding a Sabara. All-time Lancer raid here from Ares, because Lebo doesn't really have anything to defend this. He's got the two Asabara, and he can probably take the fight under the town center with those. Oh, Lebo. No. The villagers. No. Ares is going to be able to get two or three of these guys, but Lebo, he's on two TC over his opponent. So Ares, his vill production is quite so. 37 to 38. Lebo's still leading on the overall eco, though he's not actually attack moved with these. He's got to look at doing. Adding another barracks so he'll be able to get some kills once he gets some spears out. There he's just single stables for the time being. Still got a bit of wood in the bank. There we go. He spent there we go, a third stables here for a Babylonian player. Maybe just needs to add a couple of storehouses. Maybe even look at adding aid tent because if he can get loom and aid tent, Persian villagers are actually super tanky. Really hard to pick off. Ares has no um, pharmacology yet. So I think Lebo can get a kill or two here. The TC actually picking off the low Lancer, so that's ideal for Lebo. One less unit dealing damage in the fight here. Lancers have that really nice attack range. They can attack over the shoulder of one another. But the Asabara are in incredibly tanky. Lancers dealing uh, 16 and a half damage. Asabara dealing 20 and having a slightly higher health pool. So until these lances get charged, they're actually a slight disadvantage. They are a little bit cheaper, 110 versus 120 resources. The scout going down in the fight now as well for Lebo. Which might not seem like it, but it's a pretty expensive loss. I wonder if Ares knows about this dock. No, he doesn't. So he's just going to start fishing up here for the time being, I think. Ares, second TC on the way now, but Lebo, 49 to 44 villages is ahead on Eco for the moment. Needs to get some more spears in the mix. He's lucky that we might be able to catch this gold mine. Or is he going to start trying to harass the uh, docks by the looks of things? He does know about the docks. Though Ares, setting up for market trade on the water here eventually. This will be a nice pickup for Lebo. He's going to pick up a fishing boat. Might be able to put a bit of pressure on these docks. Ares is going to make sure he's well protected here. He's getting a watch post. He's adding or well, bringing across a lot of his lances to be able to clean up the Asabara. His so lances, I believe, are actually the same speed. So unless Lebo disengages right now, he's in a bit of trouble. He might be able to get the dock though. But Ares already has a couple more. So... Lebo hasn't really slowed down Ares' economy at all. He's just lost a couple of Asabara for his troubles. Meanwhile, he's added a bunch of spears. We're getting another stables. Well, Ares, just four stables. And 
going Silver Age, so he'll be able to get Lancer Champion, be a real pest with that. Might be a good catch for Lebo though, he's delaying the, that stables. But he does lose the Asabara, and they are their most expensive unit that either player's got out in the field at the moment. So Lebo, more stables. He's a bit more wood if he wants to age up here. It's fishing eco nowhere near as big as Ares. Eight boats to four. But 64 vills to 54. He does have a, a eco lead. More villagers. He can look at aging up. Now if he wishes. He's got the resources. He's going to add more fishing boats though. I think that he could probably cancel two of those and get the uh, Silver Age. Uh, he's going to add more houses so he can add more army here. Lebo could probably look at pushing, I think. I mean, he's up against Lancers, and they've got that champ upgrade, and he's up against Mounted Archers, but... He does have a lot of spears. But Ares is going to have the potential to micro out of that, I think. The spears have really, really nice snare on them. Especially Persian spears. Just a really hardy unit. So much damage. They don't have extra snare, but they've just got so much damage against cavalry. 45 damage to cavalry per hit. Oh, that's unreal. Unfathomable, bro. Oh, this could be a good catch for Lebo. If he picks this TC off just as it's finishing. Lebo, pay attention! Quick! Ooh, the Lancer charge is going to be very painful. Ares is going to be able to keep kiting out here. So Lebo going to want to get age 3 and add probably some mounted archers potentially here. The spears are going to be good against the Lancers, but Ares can just keep re-engaging against individual spears. But the snare is going to be handy because it means that, that uh, Lebo can get a bit of damage done. He wants to try and focus down this TC as best he can though. Spear's going to get a bit of damage off. Lebo. Continue to add more behind this. This is good. He's got a nice population count here. Ares going to start adding in chariot archers. So Lebo is going to have to start adding a bit of ranged himself. Or get these uh, Asabara right on top of them. If he can get his age up, he can get Asabara and Spear Champ. It'll really help him in this situation. Ares right now pop capped. Plenty of resources in the bank for both players, considering. I suppose they haven't been taking huge fights, and it is a water eco gate. The Spear Champ, if you can get that, he gets even more damage against the cavalry. And just that extra speed as well lets him engage a little bit easier. The splash damage, not really much of a bonus. So he probably could do with uh, ranged armor, considering we've got mounted archers and chariot archers in the mix. More stables coming in for uh, Lebo here. Ramship. I didn't actually see this early, but the Ramship's picked off Lebo's water eco. Gonna try and add a tower, pick off that dock. But he's gonna have to try and put pressure on Ares or rely on Ares trying to attack him if he wants this to actually go up and stay up without being picked off. Ares is gonna try and kill some eco here because 79 76 eco is a pretty even ground here neither player's really got much in the way of armory upgrades Lebo towering up just to protect himself and in this position he could probably actually fit a market in here somewhere wouldn't be the best he'd have to get a third TC probably here and he could market from back here back here and he should be okay. Ares in the meanwhile, nice spacing for him because he can go for a market up here. Tuck it in behind everything else. Be really nice and protected. Maybe not be a 150 market but it'll be enough for him to really get good value out of it. This is what I mean. This tower, it's a good idea to try and pick off the dock if it's in range. It's, it might be borderline. I'm not sure if it can reach. But Ares should pick that off with his lances pretty quickly. I'm going to try and engage now. Lebo 160 pop at Ares up to 180 and Lebo tapping out. 
He knows that might be it, hey? Oh, he started to run out of food. He's got the berries there, but... He started to run out of food. Bit of a shame, Ares. Uh, Lebo didn't like to take one last fight there, but I think Ares catching up on Eco and then having... Um, just that bit of population space, going for the extra armories. It's just starting to get out of reach for Lebo. Well played to our players.